We just completed our entry for a resin makers challenge using our door round and turning it into a resin door round and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're in for a maker's challenge, a hanging resin maker's challenge. Yeah, that's the caveat for this one. This resin challenge is it must be hanging. So what do we make? We make door hangers. So we feel like this is a perfect challenge for us. We haven't done much with resin lately, and we're looking forward to this project. We've got a great idea of how to turn our door round into a resin door round and Some ocean waves. showcase what we can do. Yeah. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed resin, cause it's a resin challenge. We needed pigment powders. Needed some quarter inch MDF. I have some 20 by 20 sheets. We're gonna use a resin mat here, cause this is what we're gonna use to do our resin pour on. Some silicone stir cups, mix cups. We're gonna need a heat gun to pop bubbles and move around our pigment powders and a glue gun to seal our door round to the mat. And we're gonna use the Glowforge to cut out the MDF. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. I'm gonna bring the quarter inch MDF over to the Glowforge. We're gonna cut out our door round. Step three, and now we paint. We're just gonna give it a coat of our country chic chalk paint. Yep, we first wanna fill our surface here. We, the MDF is a little bit porous, so we're gonna cover it in paint first, and then we're gonna cover that in a coat of polycrylic, and then we're gonna add our resin on top because we think, we think it'll keep it a little less bubbly, a little less this is like a sponge, it holds air. So I think if we could seal the air in, it won't come out in the resin. And we're gonna use our Country Chic paint in licorice. All of a sudden I forgot the name. Driftwood and crinoline. Isn't that what, oh, simplicity. simplicity. I'm actually using simplicity. Yeah. All right. All right. I'll be quick, let's do that. Yeah, let's do a quick paint job. And we're gonna do our sunglass frames in this raspberry sorbet. Ooh, I mean, sounds look at delicious. That. It looks beautiful, I love the color. Step four. Now we seal it before the pour. We're gonna give it a quick clear coat with this polyacrylic, so it dries clear. We're just gonna try to seal all these little pores. Step five. Time to prep the frame for resin. We're gonna hot glue the frame to this resin mat. It's a silicone mat. We're gonna see if it sticks. That and the sunglasses, right? Yeah. All right. No, well, wait. I'm just gonna try to go around the edge. Well, I was thinking you would just hot glue around the edge. Oh, around the edge, okay. Mm -hmm. Just to keep it from, just How am to I gonna do it. the inside? Um, you're not gonna do the inside. I mean, you can. Uh, all right, yeah, set that on there, let's uh, see. The idea is this is gonna be heavy enough to hold it down. All right. And keep it nice and tight. And go around the edge? Yeah. All right. Hopefully the hot glue doesn't stick to the round. Oh. Well, did you put the polycrylic on the outside? Yep. This is the part I'm not 100% sure on. <laughs> We're just winging it, folks. We're gonna prepare the resin. We're just gonna mix part A and part B together and give it a lot of slow stirring, a lot of slow mixing. We're using this Illumilite Amazing Deep Pour. Ooh. So this is two parts A to one part B. So there's already, it comes that way. So we'll just pour them both in this cup and hope we have enough. Oh, you wanna mask up? Yeah, let's mask up. We are gonna wear our respirators. Step 
six. Time to add the pigments. We have all these uh, little pigments we're gonna try out. Black diamond, they must shine. We're gonna use this. Glowing sky blue. Yes. And then glow blue green. We're gonna mix them in smaller containers. And then blue. Blue, blue, green, and sky blue. Step seven, time for the pour. This is where we uh, start to get really artsy. This is where Kim really starts to get artsy. Oh, I don't know about me. We're using this roll of transfer tape to hold this centerpiece down tight. I'm sure it's still gonna bleed under a little because I didn't seal the inside. So we're just gonna leave this here to help add the weight. And then we'll pour at the bottom. Let's yeah, do it. We'll see what it looks like. We're gonna demold it and assemble it all with one smooth move. It's all set up, everything's nice and hard. It's been 72 hours. Yeah, after we left the shop the other day, it sat for about 12 hours. We came in in the morning, we saw that it was wrinkled. We knew this project wasn't going to make it, but it did finally cure. It took about 72 hours to fully cure. It was still kind of soft in the morning and we had to let it sit there. But you can't beat us, can't hold us down. So we started a second pour this time we use some whiteboard and we use the same technique of using the hot glue around the edge to keep it down. And then we just did everything the same. So it's time to demold it or remove it from the mat. I'm not excited about this one. I'm excited about the other one, but I wanna see how easy it comes off the mat. Just peel it right off the mat. I don't know, that's kind of cool looking. It is. Yeah, here's what I want to see. You know, I knew we could get the glue off of the mat, but could we get the glue off of the MDF? We did a test. Well, does it matter with this one? Do you want to just go with the other one? I don't want to waste my time. This no, don't full waste of your holes. time. But I think we could salvage the sunglasses. Yeah, the sunglasses look great. The sunglasses. Oh, look, it wrinkled underneath the sunglasses, too. That's what the streaks are. That's pretty cool. The ah. sunglasses did a, they didn't, there's a little bit of a wrinkle underneath, but it didn't come all the way through. So those are nice and solid, and they look great. I think it's like pop art stuck <laughs> to the board. Hmm. I don't know if this will come off as easy as the other one did. the seepage Ooh. all right that was a little harder than the silicone mat but I think it came out better yeah look at that how easy was it to get all this stuff off um, I had to essentially cut it cut it off like I was whittling oh so I basically just had to do one of these numbers For the next part of our assembly, we're gonna go ahead and add our layers. So we do have a center banner with the word summer and hello. The center banner is gonna glue in the center MDF that we left there. Hello, I'm gonna glue directly to the resin and we're gonna glue the sunglasses directly to the resin. Nine, and now we add the accents. We're gonna take it on down to Bowtown. 
We're throwing a ribbon on for the hanger, and Kim's making it a bow. Making a little bow. Oh, you know what I don't have is a sparkle. Don't you think we need something with some sparkle? No, 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 no. I, this barely needs a bow. This thing already sparkles. I don't want to take it away. Needs a sparkle ribbon. I don't know. I don't know. This is sparkly already. Nobody will even be paying attention to the bow. They'll be wowed by the. They'll be wowed by the translucentness. They'll be swept off to the beach. They won't even know. All right. I'm just layering four pieces of ribbon on here. Actually, I'm going to use a fifth one because I feel like this one accents it well. And I'm going to attach it with a zip tie. See what we got. All right, looking good. There you go. Shoo! So all of our little hangers come with these little hanging holes. We did a little custom job on those for this particular one because of the resin, but this is how we do it. We pull our little bows through, our little ribbon through there, tie a little knot on each side, and we'll come back and at, attach our bows. You ready? Yep. All right, what side are we going on? Yeah, that Definitely side. That side, right? Yep. Get that zip tie. Hold it like a champ. Pull it down. Right, make sure it's nice and tight. Straighten out our little ribbons. What do you think? I think it's a one-time door hanger. <laughs> this is not a take it to the farmer's market kind of project. This took a little bit longer than you can produce for a weekly farmer's market. But for this resin challenge, I think this represents our style perfectly. We have this door around in our store. We make this every week for the summer. And I think it's a great representation of what you can do with resin and still represent our style. It I like it. It definitely meets the criteria. It's more than 25% resin. It's hanging. And I think it's a contender. It's, I think it's yeah. A contender. yeah, it's pretty excited about it. It's yeah. cute, it's cute. I can't wait to get it out in the sun. Well, I'm so glad we were able to get it off that board. It was, oh, yeah. <laughs> it was a little touch and go for a minute. I was a little panicked. I was a little panicked. A big thank you to all of our patrons. These guys make all of this possible. We love you guys. Thank you so much. We love interacting with our patrons. Yes, you if you're have... out there and you join us on Patreon, I got a bunch of you guys out there that never say anything. So jump in there, say hello, chit chat with us, give us your opinion. You will vote in the polls and we do love that. That's very helpful. But you can get out there and let us hear your voice. We love yeah. seeing you guys. Don't, don't just lurk around waiting for the free files. <laughs> That's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are about out of time. So if you're not going to join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. Oh, yeah, here's the other one. Here's the other version. Oh, great. Balance that one. Yeah, I'll balance this one. This is the one we offer in our store. <laughs> we don't offer the resin one. Oh, wait, I want to bat. they got to make it official. <laughs> got to make it official. Did you see how I slid it over here? <laughs> balance that one. Ooh. We haven't had final shots yet, so <gasps> All right, let's, go get it. it's your fault. <laughs>